To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! James the Red Engine was restless. Since his accident with the trucks in the cow pasture, the fat controller had let him shunt around the big station to gain confidence with trucks again. But James had been shunting for some time and was eager to see the rest of the main line. I'm tired of being tethered to the big station, he said to the others one night. I long to stretch my wheels. The engines were tired of hearing James complain, but all of them had been in this position before, so they couldn't be crossed. Be patient, little James, Gordon said. I'm sure the fat controller will let you out into the world soon. James's chance came sooner than expected. The fat controller sat in his office one morning when an important call came. Yes? Yes? A special train? I... Who is this? Hello? The phone clicked and was silent. The station master came in. You rang for me, sir? Yes. I've just received a call from a station I thought for many years to be vacant. They're asking for a special train. What kind of train, sir? A good train, he replied solemnly. Surely it's a joke, sir? The fat controller looked very grim. No, I'm afraid it's not. Well, who would take this train? A good train, sir. Down the main line. Do you mean it? James said excitedly. Yes, said the fat controller. But listen very carefully. You are to take these trucks to the old station and leave them there. Pay attention to the rails and do not lose your way. James wasn't sure what the fat controller meant, but he was happy to be out of the yards. Later that afternoon, James set out for his destination. James loved it. He cherished the wind in his face and the countryside rushing past. Finally, a chance to stretch my wheels. It took some time to reach the old station. By then, the sky was getting dark. Would you look at this? James's driver remarked, pointing to the station. This used to be the junction to an old branch line long before you came along, James. Really? Who ran the branch line? An old engine, about the same size as Thomas. He was put out of service a long time ago. What happened? James asked, beginning to feel uneasy. Uh, I don't remember exactly, his driver replied. James got the feeling that his driver wasn't telling him something. James and his crew set down the trucks in an old siding. A thick fog was beginning to form. We better hurry back, said James's driver. The fog is making it hard to see. The fog did make it hard to see. So hard, in fact, that James started down the wrong track, down the old branch line. Neither the driver nor the fireman recognised the mistake. Something's wrong, said James. The track feels rough. It's an old section of main line. You're just not used to it, James. Then James saw a flash of red lights in the distance. What's that? James cried. That's not a signal. That's a... The fog began to lift, and James realised he was not on the main line. James was not sure where he was, but what he saw there terrified him. Up ahead was an old engine shed. In its stall sat an old, dead engine, rusted from smoke box to cab. The only light came from a busted red tail lamp, which sat on the engine's footplate. Oh, horrors! James cried. He closed his eyes and ran back as fast as his wheels would let him. He was going so fast that when he returned to the old station, he smashed into the trucks in the siding, spilling out their contents. Inside the trucks was what appeared to be demolition equipment. James didn't stop for long to inspect the goods. 
He hurried back up the main line to get back to his shed. The old station sat eerily quiet. The door of the station building creaked open and out stepped the fat controller. He sighed as he saw the contents of the truck strewn about on the ground. I really hope James wouldn't have seen this, he muttered to himself. I've got to correct my mistakes no matter how old. Taking off his jacket, the fat controller piled as much of the equipment in his car as he could and hurried down the dirt road towards the old engine shed.